Hey guys, it's Dana and it's Tuesday, so it's time to talk about money. And today I want to talk about ways you can visualize your debt payoff progress. So it's a new year. Happy New Year. That's your blow horn? Hi, stand up. 16, 14, Are you ready? 12. 13, I'm sorry. 11, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Maybe one of your goals for this new year is to get control of your finances and pay off your debt. And so like I said in last week's video, I was going to talk about ways you can go about visualizing your progress because it's very hard to stay motivated when you're working a plan to get out of debt. And this is one of the ways you can stay motivated and to help your family stay motivated is to have something that you can put up so you can actually see the progress, right? It'll help get, get you pumped up, get you motivated to keep going when you can see things moving along in some way. Some very highly visible place in your home is where I recommend putting it. And so I have a lot of ideas here for you guys that might help. Some of them you've probably heard of before. Maybe not. I'm gonna share with you though first the way that we have tracked our progress with paying off debt as a family. And so here you can see we put up index cards, oversized index cards. The kids colored them in. Each card represents one month and the amount of money paid off in that month. And so up in the corner, I would put the month, how many months left, so you can count them down. So if you have 18 months to go, you know, you'd have 18 cards. And each month, on the first of the month, you can take down a card. And then on the cards, you can have your kids get involved by drawing little things, motivational things, like never give up, keep going, you're almost there, put, you know, pictures on it, whatever you want to do. And then in the beginning of the month, you as a family or you and your partner or you by yourself having a party with a glass of wine, take down the index card. You can crumple it up. What we like to do is crumple it up, stomp on it, make declarations that you will never ever borrow money again or ever if it's your children's your children talking and um crumple it up, you can shred it up and then save it and <laughs> We like to put it in a box at the end, all the cards, put it in a box and then mail it to ourselves and then smash it with a hammer. Um, if you've ever seen Emperor's New Groove, that makes sense to you. And then I'll put that flea in a box and then I'll put that box inside of another box and then I'll mail that box to myself. And when it arrives, <laughs> I'll smash it with a hammer. All right, so ways you might've heard of paper chains. So you can create a very long paper chain and then each dollar amount or each month, each week, however you're doing it, you can remove one of the links. You cut them off. So people will hang these on the wall or, you know, I, for me, it's just too much paper and hanging around, but you might want to do a paper chain. Again, you can color in the chain links. You can have your kids put messages on them if you want and then hang that chain. And then you're cutting off the links until there's no more links left. You can create kind of a game board, all right? So you can use um, grid paper or even Excel to create little cubes and then you can color in each of the cubes along the line like you're following a game board path, you know, till to the end, you know, start, finish. And then you can see it being colored in along the way. You can snake it around however you like. Um, so that's one way. Speaking of coloring in, there are tons of websites you can go to or you can create it yourself. Just have a sign that says debt free and then you can color it in, you know, with, with lines on it and then you color it in from the bottom to the top until the whole thing is colored in. You can do each line a different color, a different dollar amount and then as you move up towards the top and then obviously when you are finally debt free, the entire debt free words will be all colored in. Thermometer, that's another thing you might have heard of, is to have a giant or a small thermometer, and then you color in the thermometer um, until you're debt-free. Same thing as the debt-free words. Coloring is a very popular thing to do. You can do a puzzle. So if you take all the individual puzzle pieces of maybe a puzzle of your family, now you can get a picture taken and have that picture turned into a puzzle. So you have the puzzle broken apart, put it on in a jar, and then each, each puzzle piece represents a time or a dollar amount. And then when you hit that, 
dollar amount or a new month, you take one puzzle piece and stick it on the puzzle. And then at the end, your puzzle will be all put together and you can frame it. A good idea maybe is to take a picture of yourself, your family, with holding a debt-free sign and then turn that into the puzzle. So by the end, when the puzzle's all together, it'll be a picture of you or your family holding a debt-free sign. Or maybe you like to see something moving, like marbles. You can put marbles into a jar and then you move the mar- one marble over to another jar sitting next to it. So then by the time you get finished, you'll see all the mar- marbles have moved from the jar over. You can do something other than marbles. Maybe you wanna see it disappearing if you do some kind of candy like jelly beans and you eat, eat one jelly bean every time you hit a certain dollar amount. By the end, there'd be no more jelly beans in the jar. And lastly, someone told me that they had a giant growth ruler uh, for the kids, I guess. And on the ruler, they kind of scribbled in along the ruler all the way up to the top. You could do this also like on a door jam. We do it on the door jam where we track the kids' heights, you know, as they grow. And that's like a growth chart. So you could do it, you draw up, and then you can even do little um, milestones along the way where you track it. So um, I thought that was a really good idea. Okay, so hopefully that helped to get you inspired to start crafting, (laughs) setting things up so that you can visualize your debt payoff program and your progress and get yourself going in this new year to become debt free, whether it's this year, next year, however long it takes, just don't give up. That's what I always say. Just don't give up. Keep going and you eventually will get there. You're going to get to your goal. Just don't give up. So try to come up with some way that you can visualize it to help yourself keep on track, keep your foot on the path, um, because there's going to be a lot of things, a lot of outside forces trying to pull, drag, force you off that path, but you have to stay on the path, right? That's what's most important. So visualizing it, these these kind of things really can help you to, to stick to it. Okay. All right. So that's going to be it for today. If you have any ideas that I didn't mention, please leave them down below in the comments. Like I always say, it helps the whole community at large and, um, be sure to follow me on Facebook. I just created a brand new fan page on Facebook, debt free Dana. I kind of gave up on Facebook a little while ago. Well, not a little while ago. It's been over a year, I think really, since I've been on there very much. Um, but I finally, created a fan page. So if you'd like to go follow me there, that'd be fantastic. And um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.